everyone, my name is Caitlin Parkins. I'm the senior conservation biologist for New York City Audubon. I'm gonna take my mask off for a couple minutes uh, so that I can talk to you about injured birds. Uh, I'm away from people. I was able to find a secluded spot where it was safe to do so for just a couple of minutes. Today was a really bad collision day in New York City, and so I wanted to make a quick video about what to do if you find an injured bird, specifically how to transport it and also how to know when it's ready to be released uh, and how to do that if it's ready. So uh, birds collide with glass in the city, uh, about 90 to 230,000 birds die from this every year. Uh, today was a really bad day for collisions. I found about 30 dead birds around one building near Columbus Circle and I found eight stunned birds. Now the stunned birds are the ones I'm going to talk about today. The best transport device for a stunned bird is actually um, a paper bag. So uh, if you have a box, that's fine, use it, but paper bags, especially ones that are maybe a little smaller than this, this is all I had, are great. You can hear this bird actually fluttering around in the bag, and you can imagine that if it was in a hard-sided box, it might actually injure itself further when it was fluttering around. So soft, uh, unwaxed paper bags are a great transport device. So you pick up the bird, put it in the paper bag, fold the bag over and use something to keep it shut. So I use painter's tape because that's what I had on hand, um, but paper clips, binder clips, anything uh, works very well uh, as well. And then I took these birds and I actually took them home with me so that I could put all of uh, the dead birds away in the freezer to be stored for future donation to museums. These birds I left sit in a quiet, dark place in my apartment for just a little while. And then I started to hear them fluttering around in the bags, which actually means that they're probably alert and ready to be released. Sometimes a stunned bird just needs a little bit of rest before it can be released. But if you see a bird with blood on it or a broken wing or anything like that, it needs to get to a rehabber right away. Luckily, all of the birds that I found today actually seemed to be okay. I just had to get them off the sidewalk so they didn't get stepped on or picked up by a dog or a cat um, or accidentally swept up and, and thrown away by the cleaning staff of the building. So now that they are alert and ready to be released, I found a place to release them. I am currently in the Hallett Nature Sanctuary in Central Park. Um, it was pretty close to me um, and also it's very wooded, it's very quiet, it's got lots of places for these birds to hide and sort of get a little more rest and also it has a lot of food for them so that they can eat and gain some weight before carrying on with their migration. So this seemed to be the perfect place for a release. Um, when you're ready to release a bird, what you don't want to do is just dump it out of the bag or grab the bird and toss it into the air. You just want to carefully open the bag and just sort of let the bird out and let it choose to leave when it wants to. So I'm just going to open this bag. This bird is ready, ready, ready to go. Go ahead. There he goes. Sometimes you can jiggle it a little, give them a little encouragement they need. Now, if the bird doesn't leave the bag, if it's just sitting there um, and it just doesn't seem alert, just close the bag up, put it to the side. That bird probably needs to be transported to a wildlife rehabber. In New York City, the biggest, uh, and actually I think only uh, wildlife rehabilitation center for wild birds is called the Wild Bird Fund, and it's on the Upper West Side. Um, and you can take birds directly to them, and they know what to do. Uh, so I'm gonna release a couple more birds. I can hear them ready. This is a northern parula. So again, I'm just going to open up the bag. You in there? Check it out. You ready to go? I'm going to set this one down on the ground while I release the other birds. That way that bird can decide if it wants to hop out or not. That one actually might need a little more rest or to be transported to a rehabber later. But I have eight birds here total, so I am
but today in sort of a moment of levity I decided that I put the uh, black and white warbler into the black and white striped bag. These are all of the birds. I've released eight birds here total. I'm gonna pack up my bags, take another loop around. Hopefully I won't find any more today, um, but I hope this helped uh, if you weren't sure what to do if you found an interpreter. Thanks.